Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Corey Henry here from Brooklyn, New York, here at the Great Korg USA, checking out ARP Odyssey. My first impressions of uh, playing the Odyssey, it was a good one. I was a little bit worried because I saw a lot of knobs and new features that I haven't seen on other boards, but I played it in a studio session not long ago, and I was really amped to kind of check out the new release of this keyboard. I enjoy analog gear, I'm an analog guy. I play it mostly because it has character and personality to it. It's no greater feeling than being able to kind of change right on the fly your sound to kind of match what it is you hear in your head. To be able to have access to all the parameters right on board with no presets is just my kind of music, I love it. After getting into it, man, it was really easy. Everything was pretty much laid out. The interface is good. You can kind of see where each of the oscillators are, as well as, you know, all the new features. It's pretty easy to, to, to maneuver around. I think the board looks amazing. It's colorful, it's classic, it's fresh, it's beautiful to play. So the Odyssey had a lot of variety today and the new music that I was recording. I've kind of been working on a lot of funk based stuff and with this board today I was able to record bass, some lead stuff and the coolest of a synth like this for me was the pad stuff that I was able to record. There was some new features I kind of checked out with the pulse width and you know some LFO triggers and some other things and this board has a lot of variety in it. I think the sound sounds amazing. It's vintage, it's warm, it's analog, it's it's a synth, it's the Odyssey. The Odyssey is back. You want to check me out? Go to CoreyHenry.com. You can find out all information about where I'm going to be over the next few, however long, and who I'm going to be playing with, and all the information should be there. Mm -hmm.